but yeah, I went to uh, Hobby Lobby, got me some pottery clay. I'm trying to build a, a wing. The foam didn't work out. As soon as I pulled it off, it lost shape. So, giving this a try. <clears throat> losing too much sleep not being able to do it with the foam so came up with this one night first time using clay like ever besides in like grade school I don't remember any of it so that's what I'm doing so the plan is to shape all the wing out first half first and then cover it with aluminum tape and then fiberglass resin it hopefully make a mold or something or maybe a final piece who knows but here we are thumb in the way I have no plan before I started this so winging it. That's how Ratchet Boys do it. show for wish me luck Ooh. that changed a lot sitting down looking back at it kept stepping back kept taking some off more off <laughs> oh i think the subtle look is cool gotta clean it all up it's not final um, until tomorrow it's getting dark out Spray it with some water and cover it with plastic and see how she holds up overnight until I get to working on her again. This is how she's going to be overnight and during my work hours tomorrow. I don't know. In my head, it looks good, but we will see. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I want to explain how I want it to look. So you see, it's lower right here. Then it kind of comes up, up, and then back down that way. Um, I know the Supra is a more edgy, more square type of body, but I'm hoping this will come out right in the end. I don't know. In this season, how many episodes will this duck bill take? I don't know what you want to call it. Duck bill, wing, drag wing. I don't know. Who cares? Let's do it. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. What up? What up? What up? It's the next day. Um, let's finish it. Yeah, not finish it, but get some more done. Changed it from super view. Oh, this is recorded on a GoPro. Changed it from super view to wide. So, kind of only way to zoom in on the GoPro. Freaking was all foggy this morning, so everything is wet. Painter's tape is wet. Which I hope doesn't affect anything here. Pretty sure it will though.
not my part though. Dang, that's good. That thing is damp. And I got some of this banding stuff. The only thing I saw that maybe worked just to cut it somehow. Like this. It's alright, you can always add. I missed the footage where I stuck this in yesterday. I guess I didn't press record. Or maybe hit it twice. I don't know. But it's not all about oh the stick. Excuse my uh, garage. I don't even call it a garage. It's more like a freaking storage room. When I used to park my super in here, I could barely open a door and the squeeze out. I want to see the back. It's going to curve around the shape of the trunk because that's how it's going to get bolted on with rivet nuts and some bolts. I don't know what size yet, but I think some dressing bolts would be cool. Some titanium ones or something. about halfway done I'm hoping I can get it to match that side to this side oh, too much off it sticks out since I don't need support no more But I wanted to show you guys what I meant about the foam uh, on a set earlier in this video. I used foam before and it was perfectly straight and everything. I had to go to a meet the next day so I pulled it off thinking it would hold its shape but it didn't. It started arcing so it don't fit. Finish this clay part of it, hit it with fiberglass resin, then pull that off and do a final mold. So hopefully I can get a get a a mold good enough with a flange that has a what do you call it? Has a flange for vacuum infusion. Whatever you call it. Yeah. But I'm 
releases got it all the way to the other side I kept adding taking off adding taking off I don't know what to do and this brown shape I don't know I don't think it's gonna fit this body type like I said earlier I might just end up squaring it out here Next time. <laughs>